preparing for the Reader's Workshop. Readers. So listen, this weekend, my daughter wanted us to sit down and watch one of her childhood favorite movies. And the name of that movie was High School Musical. We've watched one, two, and three like 50 million times. But I went on ahead and went with it. I said, okay, we're going to watch it again. Let's watch it. So we were sitting down. We were watching this movie. And about halfway through it, it dawned on me that today our whole mini lesson is about minor characters. So I started thinking about the minor characters in that story, in that movie. I was like, these minor characters really play an important role in the story. And people need to pay more attention to those minor characters. So we already know that in the movie, we already know that the main characters are Gabriella and Troy, right? Yeah. We already know that. We know their roles. We know what they do. But we, do we know the, the role of the minor characters? How about... Sharpay and Ryan. I like Sharpay had a major role in that movie. And her major role was basically to cause a problem, right? Because we know that every good story has a problem. If it, if it does not have a problem, it's not even a good story. It's not even worth me reading. So Sharpay's role was very clear. She needed to cause a problem for Gabriella. Ryan was her brother. His part, his part wasn't as important as Sharpay's, but he was a friend, right? And then we had Taylor, Chad, and we had Troy's dad, who was basically the coach. They all played important roles in moving that story along, and they played a part in getting the theme across, right? So with that being said, readers, today I want to teach you that readers of historical fiction know that minor characters in a story help to carry the big messages or the big ideas in the story. Now let's think about our read aloud, which is basically our whole class book club book. I want you to watch me as I identify the, the minor characters and identify their role and how they help to contribute to the theme of the story. How do they help? What, what's important about their role? Okay? So we already know the main character is who? In our story, Number of the Stars, who is the main character? Anne Marie. Anne Marie. Okay? So then we have Ellen. She's Jewish. She's Anne Marie's best friend. Then we have the Rosens. The Rosens are Ellen's parents. They're Jewish. They're friends to Anne Marie's parents. And basically, they are on the run. Now, what's important about Ellen and the Rosens is they, their role is important because they add to the main conflict of the story. They are Jewish, and we already know that the Germans think that they are superior to the Jewish people, and they're basically trying to capture them to take them to these concentration camps. They want to get rid of their race. We need them. We just can't have Anne Marie and her parents because they are German. Nobody's looking for them. There's not going to be a conflict with just them. Okay? Now, these are not the only minor characters. We have Uncle Henry. He's one of the, he's a real minor character. These characters right here, they're not the main, they're not as main as Anne Marie because the story is told through her eyes. 
But this character right here is definitely a minor character. Uncle Henrik is Mrs. Johansson's brother. He is Anne Marie's uncle. And he lives in Jilly G. He's basically trying to help them to get away, right? So he's helping them. He's helping the Johansons. He's helping his sister, which in turn is helping the Roses, right? Then we have Peter. Can't forget about him. Peter helps the Roses. How do we even know Peter? Peter used to be married to Lies, which is Anne Marie's sister who died, right? And we know that Peter is doing some kind of secret at work. We don't know exactly what it is. We've made some predictions about it, but we're holding on to that prediction until we read a little bit more in the story. So all these people, Ellen, the Rosens, Uncle Henry, and Peter, they have, they have important roles in the story. And they help to contribute to the theme. Now, I just named out every minor character what their role was. And it's up for you guys to do it. Are you, are you ready to identify the minor characters in your books and identify their role and how they contribute to the theme? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. Okay. So, I want you guys to turn and talk to your partner. And what you're going to tell them is, you're gonna, each one of you are going to identify a minor character and what their role is in the story. How they help to contribute to the theme. Go ahead and turn and talk. to how they what, what how their role is important to the story, how they contribute to the big themes of the story. I heard somebody try to talk about the main character. Somebody said, oh no, that's the main character. We already know their role. Their part is clear. We talk about the main the minor characters right there. They say, oh okay, they got back on track. Great job. So you guys have discussed with your partner the minor characters, their roles. You see me do it. Now it's time for you guys to carry their work back to your seat. You need to be able to do that independently. So readers, when you go off to your seats today, I want you to remember that when we read historical fiction or any kind of fiction, we don't only want to pay attention to the main characters. We want to pay attention to the minor characters and their roles and how they contribute to the themes of the story. Okay? And remember, to be able to do that, we're going to identify the minor characters and read through the lens of understanding their perspectives. Okay? Ask yourself, what is their role in the story, and how is their role important to the big messages or the big ideas in the story? Okay? So, you think you're ready to do this work? Yes. All right, so table one, go off and get started with this work, please. And make sure you use all of your charts in the room to help you. Use your charts in your book club folder. Table two, go ahead and go off and get started on this work. Three, let's get started on this work. Four and five, let's go. Look away table one, group one, they already started. Look for those minor characters, what they're doing, what's their role, how is it important? Five and six, let's go. Love the way Miles is already getting started. He's getting his things organized and he's starting. Jay is ready. 